Okay, so I'm going to start working on the uh, the holes back here, and you can actually see. Let me kind of zoom up on this area. Um, there's a drill that goes all the way through, and you can see it has a drill point at the end, and then there's a drill that goes through the top. I'm going to show you some really neat tips and tricks using the hole command. And then finally, we can see that there's this BSP pipe thread um, in there also we're going to deal with. Okay, so I personally like using the whole command. Instead of creating another sketch, typing in dimensions, doing an extrude, having to taper the ends, I'm going to use the whole command. Now it's asking for a face. I purposely click I kind of over exaggerate, I click away and out of where it needs to be. Obviously it's off center. Okay, and you'll see why here in just a second. You can see the different hole types, simple, counter bore, counter sink. So I'm going to do simple. What's the hole tap type? Simple, clearance, tapped, or tapered. Well, I'm going to say simple in this example because we're just doing a drill. We're not tapping it. And then you can see drill point. Is it flat or is it angle? So I'm going to do angle. And if I kind of rotate, you can sort of, it's kind of hard to see. You'll see how it's doing that angled drill point at the bottom. Okay. So here's my, my tip that I want to share with you. See this blue little dot? I'm going to grab it and move it around. And you can see I can reposition this hole. And you'll see that other little blue dot, which I can't really point to, but it's right above where I'm at right now. All I have to do is get near that and you'll see it snap right to the center of the shaft. I didn't have to do any offsets or measuring or anything. It's, it's going to automatically snap to the, in, uh, to the center of that part. Okay. So now what I want to do is start filling in this information. So we know that this drill is a 5 sixteenths according to the dimension drawing. Oops, that's the diameter. <laughs> um, so I, I think I said length, but yes, the diameter is 5 sixteenths. So I just type that in. And I don't know if you saw the circle get a little bit um, smaller. Let me do this like so. I'll come in here and say 5 sixteenths and you'll see that it gets smaller. Then I want to specify the depth, and in this case, it's one and three quarters. So I could type in one and three quarters, I could type in 1.75, doesn't really matter, and I get a nice live preview of what that's going to look like. And I'll say OK. And we've just created a drill that goes all the way into the part at a very specific distance. So if I turn on my section analysis, we can see what that looks like.